Welcome to another Weekends in My Garage. Last week's video covered the installation of the Anchor Solex F3800s. It was a successful installation. So next step is to get accustomed to using this application. So Anchor has this application so you can configure the usage of your, your backup system. So here's the application as you can see here. And what I've done is configure the app to leverage time and use billing. My utility company has given me the option to do time and use billing, so I'm trying to leverage that. So you can see here, I have my um, two Solex F3800s. They're inputting at roughly 1900 watts. And in the diagram, you can see from the grid to the panel to the HPP, which is the home power panel, into the F3800s. So we're pulling in from the grid a little over five kilowatts, and 1.4 is going to the 1.5 is going to the house, and the rest is going to the F3800s. Um, I've had the system installed uh, for about a week or so. And um, I've, according to this, have earned $21 in savings. So let's take a look at time of use. So in time of use, you can set the battery reserve or a proportion of the battery reserve in case of the outage. Um, after consulting with um, customer support and checking some online threads, you know, for my use case, I would like to leverage the system for the savings because we had these high $700, $700 bill, um, bills from the utility company. And I said, you know, we got to figure out a way to offset this. So I've set my, my um, ratio of reserve power to power home 95 to 99% and reserve to 1%. And what that means is, and I'll show you this, um, my time use is set and I go to the utility plan for the time of use. And this is probably the, the confusing part for many people. It was confusing for me at first. So go to your utility company's website. And if they have time and use um, um, billing, they should have a graph that shows you when is off peak and when is peak. So obviously peak, you're gonna have the higher rates. Off peak is gonna be the lower rates. Well, right after you come off of a peak, you want to set a super off peak. Super, super off peak is the time or the duration that you need for your batteries to recharge at the lower off peak rate. When the, when the system is on peak, you will be running off of your batteries and not off of the grid. Hence the $21 savings that I've had over the last several days. So configuring this is the key to match the time and use billing time frame over the 24 hour period that you have with your utility company. So with my utility company, I have between 6, 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. a peak time and 1700 to 2100 hour another peak time. As you can see, I set the super off peak to follow those because after, excuse me, during peak, I'm running off the batteries, saving money. I'm recharging at a lower rate with super off peak. So I replicate this not only for the weekdays, but also for the weekends. And so here's, here's my rates here. So let's go back. So one question I had was, oh, what if a disaster happens? Or excuse me, not a disaster, but a, uh, an outage. Or you expect an outage. Um, I know we're expecting a snowstorm this weekend. And the way my system is set up, I may be in a situation maybe where I could be at 1% and we could have a, a short outage. Well, one of the things that you could do, which is really, really cool, you could do a manual backup power, which if I select this, 
you can set the time in which you want the system to basically override the schedule that I showed you earlier and juice those batteries up to 100% so you're, you're ready for that potential power outage. Back to the main screen. So right now we're at 73% charged. And let's take a look at this section of the app. So here is the day, week, month, and year. And this will give you a, a graphical representation of your, your usage. So I clicked a little home. And currently right now, from an energy usage perspective for today, I have used 31.3 kilowatts. Okay. And if you scroll down, then it has the breakdown in percentages of how I use that energy. So battery power supply was 21%, the grid was 79%. And that's idealistic you want to see is that breakdown. If I had solar connected, I also will see how much energy or, or uh, electricity that is being supplied from my, my solar units. I, I tapped a little battery here and this shows you my storage and discharge. So here at the discharge, it averages, it, it never goes beyond 3.84 kilowatts in either direction from a discharge perspective as well as a charging perspective. And then I click here, the little, little uh, icon for the grid, and then you can see my spikes and dips when I was um, discharging, when the grid was discharging energy. And then you can see the percentages, import from the grid, the battery 22%, Low power consumption, 78%. So that's a, that's a the, today's view. If I go to the week view, then you can see in the graphical representation, graphical representation for the week, we used 412 kilowatts. And then for the month, 750, etc. You get the general idea. So now let's take a look at the devices. So here's my Solex home power panel. The temperature is at 125 degrees Fahrenheit. I could also look at my time and use data from the home power panel. Going back to the devices, I also have the Solex C1000, great device. I have a video on that as well. And here I can tap on indiv the individual F3800s and see how they are performing. We had 76% charge, temperature 104 degrees. And as you can see, there is the various different outputs and inputs. So there's a DC input, AC, USBs, you also have the carport, and then you have the controls. So you can actually turn on the light and turn on the screen display as well. I will say the application works great for me, has a real cool representation of what's going on as you can see here in terms of the flow of, of uh, current coming into the house from the grid or from the, the uh, F3800s to the panel which then powers the house. Um, we're at 77%. I suspect we will be fully charged in 30 minutes, which is really, really cool. Um, like I said, it's a really good application. It does what it's supposed to do. After you get past the learning curve of understanding time and, time and use, and you can configure it appropriately to address your use case, you can save yourself some money, you have a solid backup system, and you're ready for anything. So have a great rest of the weekend and thank you for attending and taking in this version of Weekends in My Garage.